Welcome to our food hall. Welcome to our food hall. Welcome to our food hall. Right here. Welcome to our food hall. You guys, we just did probably the most massive summer grocery haul we have ever done in our lives. On top of that, with three small children in tow. So it was a crazy day, but we did it. We're here. It's time to get unpacked. We're gonna show you what we got and how we like to enjoy it. If you guys like these grocery hauls, if you like plant-powered living, give this video a thumbs up. Leave us some love in the comments below. Let us know your favorite place to shop and hit that subscribe button, join the Eat Me Rest fam, and click that bell to turn on your notifications. Let's jump right into the food hall. We are trying to get out the door. If you guys are parents, you know the struggle. This is always the hardest part, is just getting out the door. We've got water, we've got snacks, we've got treats, we've got salads, we've got lunch, we've got everything we need. We've got toys and pet kitties. Liv's bringing her pet kitty. We're gonna try to hit up three grocery stores today. Trader Joe's for just a couple essentials we always get there. Whole Foods for usually the bulk of our produce and then Costco for the majority of our frozen fruit. That being said, sometimes the grocery stores are not super fond of us bringing the camera in so we might have to do some phone footage. Some of it might have to be a little covert, a little secret. One thing we really want to demonstrate is that we are bringing our kids with us. We take the kids with us to the grocery store because they are more likely to eat what they can help us pick out. This is our protein packed taco meat that contains quinoa, lentils, ground tofu, and mushrooms, onions, garlic, seasoning. It is so good. I'm putting it on top of my raw rainbow salad. So this is a perfect combination of both protein rich, hearty, healthy lentils, legumes that are also iron rich, but also getting in plenty of raw foods. This is how we love to do it. We also use that same taco meat plus veggies to make little burritos for the kids on the go. And then we're bringing some goji and mulberries. Goji berries, great source of vitamin A. Black mulberries, fantastic source of iron. 20% in a serving. So we are on the road. I have already tapped into my salad mix. So, so good. Anyway, our friends actually invited us to go see Nate Bergazzi. If any of you have heard of him, am I saying it right? I think so. A couple nights ago, we finally went on YouTube and figured out who this guy was. Yeah. And we watched legit like two hours of this guy, like tears streaming. What truly makes a great comedian is someone who can do it without cussing, yeah. without saying anything vulgar or talking about privates. And... <laughs> They're just simply relatable. Truly a gem. Like, if you like funny stuff, this guy is the best. So good. Okay, you guys, the whole family is asleep. Well, Aaron's not. I'm here at Trader Joe's, one of our longtime favorites. I don't know anybody that doesn't love Traders. I'm gonna buy a bunch of black beans and all of these things because the prices here at Traders is so, so low. Leaving Trader Joe's, I got a massive cart full of food. I spent $159 and I got so, so much. No joke, probably three weeks worth of soy milk, veggie broth, bananas. I even got some produce. I got some mushrooms, some peppers, some potatoes, some Honeycrisp apples, which are our family's favorite. I don't always cook with vegetable broth. Some people make their own. We don't always even use it but it's like two bucks and the ingredients are so legit. There's organic carrots, organic celery, organic tomatoes, organic leeks, it's delicious, and it's not from concentrate, which is really, really important. I think that whole grocery trip took me like 15 minutes, maybe like 12. Trader Joe's is small, it's compact. Now we're headed over to Whole Foods, which is maybe three minutes away. Another nice thing is that they're super close. All right, we're at Whole Foods. This is honestly where we get the majority of our organic produce. We love shopping here just because we feel like we can get 99% of what we eat fresh in one spot. Get ready, drop the confetti. Get ready, drop the confetti. Get ready, get ready. Get ready, 
drop the confetti. Showtime when I take a seat. Full house, keep it nice and neat. Chipped up, yeah, I'm on the street. At the cave so much that they call me the beat. Now leaving a Whole Foods market. I think we spent a little over 200 on the produce at Whole Foods. This we usually have to do like every 10 days, but with all the stuff I stocked up on at Traders and what I'm about to stock up on at Costco will Thank last us advice. many, many weeks. Well, Walking into Costco now as a family, this is getting real. It's been a heck of a long day. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so here we are, Costco produce. We get so much here. Max, what did we just mm. find? Uh, we found the biggest basket. Pineapple? Pineapple. They've got really good stuff. Organic mangoes. We're for sure gonna buy lots and lots of frozen stuff. Get ready, drop the confetti. got our organic frozen goods. We love to buy their frozen berries and pineapple and cherries, coconut water in bulk, and dates. Chia seeds for mega seeds. What I think is worth noting is that a serving of hemp seeds is 50% of your daily dose of magnesium. So we are all always concerned about our magnesium at bedtime. Just a good athlete food, I would say. People are always asking, how do I eat vegan on a budget? Yeah. So here we go. 25 pound bag of rice for 18 bucks. That would no joke last you like six months to a year. It's cheap to eat this way, guys. When the store first opened, we did a massive haul and we got like as much as we possibly could in the store. I'm gonna share that link. You guys can definitely go watch that one. How did we do? We did Leaving good. Costco. Last, last minute, we found some sprouted snacking seeds. So yeah, we're excited. They're organic. They don't have oil, so that's new. We spent 150 at Costco. So honestly, you know, we're we're not doing too bad on the day. But most we, but of this is last not weekly. At least a couple of months. You know, the, the Whole Foods weekly haul that, that, you know, we spend, you know, two, maybe 300 is the, is the big one. Everything we just bought at Costco is raw. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Raw Whole Foods from Costco. I think it's important to note too that this is like for three weeks worth of frozen fruit. This is for like two months worth of hemp and chia seeds, maybe even more. Family of five, like, yeah, our kids are little, but still, we eat a lot. And so I think that is pretty darn good when you calculate how much food for what we spend. We feel fortunate to be able to buy and find, you know, organic whole foods close to us in abundance. Like, wow, how, how lucky are we to live in this day and age and be able to eat the way we do? We feel like this is the way to eat. Hey you guys, it has been a super, super long day. So we're gonna run through everything we got really quickly and how we like to use it throughout the week before all of the frozen stuff melts. We have all of our frozen organic fruit that we keep for smoothies in our outdoor freezer. We have a deep freeze. So this should last us several weeks or a couple months. Our case of organic bananas that we will allow to get speckly and ripen. We'll peel and break them and freeze them for smoothies for weeks. And then we've got organic soy milk, just soybeans and water. It's the best nutritional profile of any plant milk. So if you're gonna go for plant milk, soy milk. And then we have vegetable broth because it's always going to enrich your veggie stews and soups and curries even more if you can have that mineral rich broth as your base instead of water. It's also great for sauteing if you are oil free like we are. You just pour a splash on a pan and saute as usual. And then we've got tons of dates for snacking and then bulk dates for baking. And we've got cotton candy grapes. We always buy multiple bags in the summer, rinse them and then freeze them. They are the best poolside, beachside snack. The best little yellow mangoes, mangoes from Costco. Grape season is just the best. We love these little ones. Tons of berries, sauerkraut, I highly recommend adding this into your diet. Putting it on your salads is a great thing for your gut. Chia and flax and hemp in bulk, coconut water, 
which we love for hydrating on those hot, sweaty summer days. Cherry tomatoes are like one of our favorite things. Like we will eat a handful of these like it's candy. If we find them at the farmer's market, they're legitimately gone before we get home. So cherry tomatoes are another summertime favorite. Avocados, once they get ripe on the countertop, put them in the fridge and they will last. So that halts the ripening and they'll stay good for days. We've got our, just a couple sweet potatoes. We needed to restock on our Onions, Vidalias are one of the best varieties. They're so good in the summer. We love the red onions for salads and fresh things and like curries and then the yellow onions for all kinds of other cooking. Uh, red cabbage for salads, radishes. These are great little kid snacks. They are sprouted and organic and oil-free. Pumpkin and sunflower seeds, the two most nutrient-dense types of seeds. Brown rice penne from Trader Joe's. This is a great um, gluten-free alternative. And these little tomatoes, we, Dusty loves to add these to our fresh pasta sauces. And then these heirloom tomatoes are so amazing in the summertime. I love to just slice them and eat them as is. They're amazing. Or you can make like a little bruschetta. <laughs> these are still in their bags because they're all of our greens. And we've found that the only way they really truly stay fresh is in the store bags. So if you are a stickler about being eco-friendly, just reuse the bags. We've got our dino kale, which we blend for green smoothies every day and sometimes juice. And then our collard greens, same thing, or use them for veggie wraps in place of tortillas. This is green leaf lettuce. This is kind of our go-to for salads. And then we've got curly kale somewhere in the mix. We tear it up and add it into our soups and stews at the very end once we've turned the heat off and allow it to get dark and green and it tastes so good. It really just adds a pop of nutrition to your soups. We also juice with that one as well. Our celery for juicing and cooking green apples for blending and juicing, honey crisps. The kids eat these like they're going out of style. Honestly, we all do. We have to keep buying more and more honey crisps because we just cannot keep up. We all eat them so often. With the fresh things, the really only things that we restock throughout the week are things like salad greens and berries, which we'll eat those things first. Anything that's more tender, more delicate, eat first and save some of your heartier things like apples, oranges, bananas, more crisp, hearty greens like your kales for later in the week if you're trying to like make sure nothing rots. If something is about to rot, simply rinse it and freeze it. We will oftentimes do that if we know we're gonna leave on vacation for Nebraska to see family. I will rinse all of the remaining greens and throw them in the freezer so then we have them for blending when we get home. Same with the berries. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like it, give it a thumbs up. Leave us some love in the comments below. Let us know where you shop most. Do you shop only organic? Do you buy conventional? We're curious what your grocery habits are. Let us know what your favorite store is to stop at. Be sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up in the corner. Join the Eat, Move, Rest fam. It helps us out tremendously to get our healthy, happy, plant-based family alive and thriving on the internet to share our message with everybody. And be sure to follow us daily on Instagram at Erin Stanzik and at DB Stanzik. You'll find all of our amazing resources linked below, like our free seven day health transformation video guide and our Eat Move Rest Club yearly membership where you can gain access to our meal planner and recipe app, everything else for 75% off. So be sure to check it out. Bye guys. Every creed, every age, every color Every sister and mother and brother Everybody's got a seat at the